Hey friends, Peter Fasciano here. Welcome back and thanks for tuning in to my series on the Canon M6 Mark II. Today, actually a couple of days ago, I believe it was um, March 31st, uh, Canon released their firmware update to the M6 Mark II so you can shoot uh, 24 frames per second. So in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through really quick how you can actually upgrade the firmware on your camera. It's very simple. Just follow these steps and you're gonna be good to go. Let's go ahead and jump on the computer and show you how it's done. All right, so getting on the computer, the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is find the Canon site uh, for your area. I'm Canon USA, so I typed in Canon USA. I'm gonna click on the support menu and it's gonna go ahead and open up where you can do the download. And there's two places you can do this. First, you can type in the EOS M6 Mark II, click on the Mark II. Once that's done, you hit click go and it'll open up the support page. There's also another way you can do it. So let me go ahead and just hit the back button here. You can go ahead and click on the EOS Rebel digital cameras. It'll list a whole bunch of cameras. Find the Mark II, click on that. Once you have all this done, either way, you're gonna wanna find the downloads and drivers. You're gonna click on that. It'll bring you to the bottom of the page. You wanna click on firmware. The firmware update is for Windows and the uh, Mac. I'm a Windows person, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the Windows. It tells you the update, how large the file is. Once you click on that, make sure you click the box that I've read and agreed to the disclaimer. If you wanna see what's in the download, go ahead and click on the document, driver software details, and it'll pull up this little menu here Then you can read through and what the uh, download's all about. I want the 23 frames per second or the 24 frames per second, but you can read through all this if you want. Go ahead and click on the download. It's going to instruct you to where, where you want to file. I just click OK. It's going to download up here where this little arrow is. Once I have it downloaded, I'm going to open up that file, click on the file, and you'll see that the firmware is right here. So it's that firmware that you want to download or that you want to copy to your SD card. So I'm going to click on that and copy it. I'm going to go ahead and put my SD card into the computer and it'll pop up on the menu here. So it's the EOS Digital Camera. And from here, I'm just going to right click and paste the file in there. It's gonna take a second for it to copy in there. Once you have it, that's the file that you're gonna end up putting into your camera and downloading the firmware. Make sure you eject it just to be safe. You're all set, ready to take it out of the computer and go ahead and put it into the camera. And I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, once we have the camera set up, make sure that the camera's off and you have the lens off and the cover on. Go ahead and open up the port on the bottom and you wanna make sure that you have a fully charged battery because it's gonna take a little bit of time to uh, load. Once you've ejected your SIM card, put the card into the camera, close the door. Once the door is closed, you can go ahead and turn the camera on and prior downloads it tells you to put into p mode so i don't know if it matters on this one but i have mine in the p mode hit the menu and you're going to go to the wrench menu all the way over to five and you're looking at the firmware currently on the camera is 1.00 click ok it's going to ask you update the firmware click on ok it's going to prompt you here it's going to be loading it up it takes a little bit of time Once you have it all loaded up, it's gonna ask you to update it. That's the firmware. Hit OK. Move over to OK. Ask you to verify again. Now you're all set. This is gonna take a little bit of time. So I'll go ahead and just fast forward this really quick. Once the firmware is done, camera's gonna like go black and then turn back on. Once you have it on, you wanna make sure that you shut the camera off. Go ahead and eject the battery. I would hold the battery out for maybe five seconds or so. This is just a precaution, you don't have to do it. Once the battery is out for about five seconds, go ahead and put it back in. Turn the camera back on. And it hits your menu button and you wanna go over to the camera settings and you're going to go into your video settings oh, so up at the top that's right go to the camera icon once you're in the camera icon you can go ahead and hit the menu button again it 
camera icon one you're in your movie record quality and then from this point on you'll see that you have your 24 frames per second 24 frames per second at 4k 24 frames per second at 1080p I'm gonna set mine to 4k that's gonna be my my go-to videoing all right so that's about it it's a pretty simple process uh, just make sure that you're formatting your card before you do all this and then just eject the card so you're not just pulling it straight out of your um, your computer and whichever support site you go to to download the software whether it's Canon USA or any other site just uh, hopefully this all works if I missed anything put some comments down below and I hope this works for you I think that's gonna do it for me today if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and click on that uh, subscribe button. Give me a, a like or a thumbs up. Click on that notification button. And that's it. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.